have a, a tiny cough and now I'm, I'm freaked out. <laughs> so I hope that it's nothing. Yo, I now believe that I may have actually been exposed to COVID. Last night, um, I developed a cough and congestion that's kind of stuck around. And I've had a fever all day. Hopefully it's not COVID. I mean, I'm not super convinced, but could just have a cold, which, like, would be simpler. But with the coughing and the shortness of breath and congestion, I don't really think that it is just a cold. Good morning. Getting my test in a few hours. Uh, fever back. I've woken up a couple times to take cough syrup and every time I wake up my it's like my chest is really hot. We'll see. You stole my spot. I'm uh in the Walgreens drive through line waiting to get my um test. My face hurts. I haven't sat up, like, straight in a, a hot minute. I know why I don't now. <laughs> I feel not well, so I hope that... I think there are three cars in front of me, so I'm trying to just... I'm just trying to not feel like I'm gonna throw up. Oh, it's, uh... Already five minutes past my appointment time because of a super long line, but I'm next. And I'm, I mean, I think I had one COVID test before, but they administered it. And like the fact that I'm doing it freaks me out a little bit, but. Okay, I just did it. The lady was super nice. The pharmacist, she was like, have a good day, sweetie. I hope you don't have it. Super nice. It hurt. Oh, it stings right there, but I did it. So hopefully I get my results back in a couple days. Hi, don't I look fabulous? <laughs> oh my God, my hair, I look so gross. I didn't wake up with a fever and I only took cough syrup before I went to bed. I didn't get woken up in the middle of the night to have to take it again. The only thing that happened last night was my chest um, like breathing all the way down the center hurt. I didn't feel the need to cough. It was just like a discomfort when it came to breathing. Don't hate me because I'm beautiful. <laughs> well, at least I washed my hair now. So like I didn't brush it, um, but I washed it. Stamina wise, I'm not doing very well. You know, we talked earlier, symptom-wise, it seems like fever's gone, cough's lessening, that seems better. I took a shower, fed the cats, and fed myself a Pop-Tart in bed because I ran out of energy. And that took a total of 25 minutes. I didn't even stand for the entire shower, I had to sit for a little bit. That's the problem right now, is... Sitting up straight or standing or walking, I run out of breath, then I get a coughing fit. I just don't have the energy right now. I mean, that was 25 minutes. I know it's dark, but I'm hanging out on my couch and I'm so tired. I got my results back. I'm COVID negative which is a good thing, but also a confusing thing because I had so many symptoms. All right, yo, it's Tuesday. My symptoms are changing slightly. I can breathe better. I don't, my chest doesn't really feel like a problem anymore. I also feel kind of lightheaded. Just kidding. <laughs> oh, I definitely just felt it in my chest. It's just not as bad. Okay. But now it's like weirdly moving up and down. <laughs> I don't know. Things are weird. I don't know what's going on. Okay, so update time. I had a virtual appointment with my doctor. 
And he says, based off of all of my symptoms, that I have COVID. Maybe I went and got my test too early. I don't know, but he definitely goes, there's, there's no way that you don't have it based off of all of your symptoms. <sighs> Breathing is just a thing, you know, that is a little harder to do than usual. Ooh, energy is just as low as yesterday. My fever came back for a little bit. <laughs> Sorry. I have two cats who are, I think they know what. They definitely know I'm sick, so they've been following me and keeping an eye on me wherever I go. Gosh, I really don't feel good, so I'm going to try and hurry up and eat the soup so I can go back to bed. It's 2.30 in the morning. I'm trying not to cry. I just woke up out of the blue. Both of my kitties came to cuddle with me because they can sense I'm not feeling good. But it's just wearing me down. Alright, y'all. I just got out of the shower. And, oh shoot. I can't flip it, so I'm just gonna have to turn it. My, um, all my joints hurt. It looks like my ankle swelled. Because I was also freezing last night. So I was wearing flannels. And socks. And look. There is a ring where my socks cut off because I'm assuming that my ankles were swollen. Truth be told, I'm about to put more flannels back on because I'm still cold. These symptoms are weird. <laughs> okay, I'm sitting here on sheetless bed because I'm watching them because it's been four days and I feel like it's gross. <sighs> Give me a sec. Okay. It's just, if I'm not laying down in my bed like this, I cannot catch my breath and my heart rate goes up. And it's f scary and it's frustrating because I feel like I'm never going to be able to do anything normal ever again. What time is it? It's 8.50 and I've been up since 7 and I'm already wiped out for the whole day probably. My doctor said that if, when I'm at rest, if I, if basically what's happening when I'm standing up or doing things, if that happens when I'm at rest, then I have to go to the hospital. So I'm trying to get better so that I don't have to. It's really scary. And it doesn't feel like I'm making any progress, even though I probably am, and I just, I can't see it, but it just doesn't feel like it. Update. I did not feel well, so I went to the hospital. Those are my vitals. I'm shaky. We'll see how this goes. I been here about two hours. Don't mind. I'm tired. I get to lay down on this bed, so that's all right with me. I'll update you later. Update. I'm home. I'm taking my heart monitor stickers off. Look at this. Um, I'm gonna keep making faces. Ow. The verdict is, I just, you know, have COVID. And COVID sucks, and I can breathe well enough that I don't need to be there, so go home. And that's fair. I was just really anxious, and that's probably what set off my bad breathing spell. You know, it happens, and I don't regret going. I actually have a little more energy. I think it's the adrenaline from being there. I'm gonna take a shower to get the sticky off me and uh, update you tomorrow props. Hello. It's pretty much midnight. Oh, it's 12.10 now. At midnight, I woke up and to be honest, 
I uh, was, was almost down for the count. I literally almost threw up. I started shaking. I got so hot. My face was pale like a sheet. And I seriously thought I was gonna, it was gonna be the end here. Like that's how terrible I felt in those brief 10 minutes. Ducky is being helpful, as you can see. Ducky. Good job. Casey is being supportive. She jumped in there and was making sure I was okay. Oh, I'm literally on cold. Oh, but I don't, I can't leave yet. I still don't feel all that well, so I'm drinking water and Gatorade. And Casey is being my nurse and she's making sure I'm okay. I'll let you know if it gets any worse or if hopefully that was just it and there's no more. Hello. Um, overall today is a little bit better than yesterday. We have a new view where we're sitting in uh, on my rocking chair with the ottoman for my feet. I have my cat. I was up for four hours and then napped for three. Feels like it's gonna be like this forever. I know that it won't, but it feels like it. Tomorrow will be five days of, of an entire work week missed. Tomorrow I get paperwork for medical leave if I want to take that. It's really hard right now. You know, up for four hours, down for three. That's no way to live, you know. I had a coughing fit and I'm now laying down and reclining in, in this chair and I'm under my blankies and I'm probably gonna stay here for a little bit. I don't understand how I could be so sick and how I just can't do normal things right now. Oh my gosh, is my cheek really swollen? The, the side is kind of stuffed up today. Oh my gosh, I just noticed that. Even though I, every morning when I wake up, I'm feeling better. Like I'm feeling a little bit better every day. But once I start doing something, it's just like I, I fall backwards essentially. And I just don't like feeling weak, you know, like I don't like feeling like I can't even accomplish simple things. It's not an easy thing to admit <laughs> that doing some household chores is set me back for my day. It's really hard. I'm sorry, I'm just, I know Ducky, I'm why. I know Ducky, I'm just complaining. Oh no, I'm just, I'm sharing my emotions. My therapist would be proud. We uh, slept so much last night. Last night I felt like I actually rested. Whereas the rest of the week while I was sleeping, it was almost like a self-preservation mode, you know? Like I was sleeping because I had to, to get through it. Where now I feel like I'm sleeping and it's actually really, you know, doing, my body's really doing what it needs to be doing. I feel like maybe I finally beat the virus and now it's just the wreckage that it left behind that I'm healing from now, if that makes sense. Don't listen to your pal Geneva. My, I, after that video, I immediately called my friends. And they were like, how are you? you? have a fever? And I was like, I don't think so. I didn't take my temperature. I took it. It said I had a 101.5 uh, or a 101.6. And I was like, what? Like, I feel like I would notice if I was running that high of fever. So then I grabbed a different thermometer and it said I had a 100. Clearly, I am running the highest fever I have ran in eight days and was a fool to think that I'm better.
I have been taking Tylenol every six hours, like clockwork. And I cannot get my fever to go away completely. I've been really hot, clearly, because of fever. Um, so... <sighs> sleeping has not happened. I'm hoping that this does not keep going for another six hours. Hello. So, let me show you today's accomplishment. Sorry, it's dark. The lights are off and I was taking a nap. Here's today's accomplishment. Look, I folded, I folded half, half of my laundry. This, this is the other half that I couldn't finish. And don't even talk to me about putting stuff away. I'm not there yet. And that was my accomplishment. I'm really cold. I put on a sweatshirt and I put on socks. And I'm going back in my bed. With my Casey cat. I know. Still can't work. My boss called me and she was baffled. Not baffled, but she was like shocked. I couldn't even fold my laundry. Which is the life I've been through. My case. She's like, I know, Mom. You've been trying so very hard. Yo. I don't even know what, where we're at in the day count anymore. All I know is that I feel like I'm going to throw up. And I kind of feel for the first time in my life that I like just want to like get it over with. If you know me, you know that that's not ever my stance. It's like the worst thing in the world, but I just want to get it over with. I hope this means that the virus is just trying to get out of me because that's what I want so bad. <laughs> Update. I didn't throw up much to my surprise. Oh, I feel terrible. Good morning. So this is the best I felt in, you know, 12 days, 13 days. I don't know. I think it's 12 days. Um, I'm sitting in a chair because I'm trying to... Oh, there's Ducky. And then there's Casey. I'm sitting in a chair because I'm trying to... Um, get my strength back because there's no way I'll be able to, you know, go back to work if I can't sit at my desk and, and work. Um, I have been sitting for about 22 minutes right now. No, a little more than that. 25 minutes. Um, and it feels like I'm doing a workout, to be honest. Ducky. Um, I'm starting to sweat. My muscles, like all my back muscles hurt. I'm getting warm just sitting here. Who knew that literally just learning to just sit would be a workout. Like I, I never thought that this would be a situation I'd find myself in. 25 minutes right now is my record. Yeah, Doc, it's my record. Is it my record? It's my record. 20 minutes, previous record. So I really, I want to make it to... Yes. Why are you talking so much? Why are you talking? He's really talking. Trying to make it to the end of our morning show. So that would put me at, you know, I'd like to make it 40 minutes today. Oh, I got a buddy. <laughs> right? We'd like to make it 40 minutes. But we're going to listen to our body. If we don't make it, we don't make it. We're doing a lot better. We have a lot more energy. I was able to hang up my new painting of my kitties. Um, got some laundry done. Took out the garbage, stuff like that. Um... Honestly, it's like 
I start out great at the beginning of the day, and then slowly as we get towards the end of the day, then I'm, like, still feeling a bit ick. But I, f I feel like we're on the right track. I'm very optimistic. I hope that this is just, like, the last of it and that I'm, I'm kicking, I'm kicking it. As you can see, I'm, uh, chilling in my rocking chair, trying to take a nap. I do not feel good today. I feel worse than the last two days. My cough came back, and I feel lightheaded when I'm, you know, I just feel lightheaded. There's no qualifier. I even feel lightheaded right now. I'm hoping this is just like a one day fluke deal and not me getting worse again. I thought I'd be able to go back to work tomorrow, but I'm still not feeling well. So it's gonna be maybe another week, maybe two, maybe less. It's, it's really unpredictable right now. Everyone's telling me that's normal, but you can't really predict COVID recovery. But it doesn't make it any less frustrating and it doesn't make it any less scary and it doesn't make it suck any less. And it's really frustrating. I already said that word. I'm trying not to be discouraged. I know Casey's trying to make sure I'm not discouraged either. Okay. Goodness gracious, I feel like I'm having a pity party every day now. I feel kind of better today. I went out for the first time. I had to go get my usual medications. They were all, they were all running out. And there's Casey. So I went to CVS, but oh, just that little 15 minute trip really <sighs> wore me out for the rest of the day. I want to get back to my usual routine and I want to get back to work because life continues to go on without me beyond my apartment walls. And I feel like I'm missing it. But on the other side of the token, I know that I am not ready to go back because I am still really unwell. I don't have the energy to do things that I used to be able to do three weeks ago. I just want to be able to distract myself in the things I used to do. So I don't have to freak out about the things that I can't do anymore or that are slowly coming back. And I know that I can't do that. And I th think that's just why I'm really upset. Okay, okay. It's gonna, I know it's gonna be okay. I know it's gonna be okay. <sighs> you wanted... COVID raw. This is, this is COVID uncut. <laughs> <sighs> Hi, I'm freezing today. It's going to be like 75 degrees, so I don't know why I'm freezing, but I'm going to attempt to go to the grocery store. So, let's see how that goes. So, I forgot to take a video yesterday, but I had a doctor's appointment. And then I had to get some blood work. Um, I have a lot more energy. Uh, super sore from my uh, grocery store adventure. It took me twice as long as it normally does. And literally just putting my arm out like this. like put, I was going to push a cart. hurt so bad. And it's like two days later now. So hopefully that's not a thing tomorrow. It's just reminding me that I really need to be patient with myself because this isn't going to be a quick overnight thing. 
All right, guys, ignore this. Casey decided to bite my face this morning. Good thing I'm wearing a mask because <laughs> I'm going back to work. That's really an ugly spot on my face. I'm still very tired, but we're going to see how this goes. <laughs> you and I will find out together if this was a good decision or not. Update. I don't know if you could tell, probably because both of my hands are shaking and might cancel each other out. I made it about three and a half hours at work. And then I began to shake like this and it felt like I was having a hot flash and it feels like I'm going to throw up and my face has no color. I have to call my doctor 